setters i'm back again with another video for you and today we're going to be talking about how to recognize the different types of sets let's get right into it So my name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. And I'm going to first and foremost say, I'm not a setter, but I admire you guys so much. You guys are the rock of our teams. We love you, we support you. To our setters, thank you chef's kiss for the work you guys do because some of the best balls that I have attacked have been for my really great set. So thank you for what you do. And over the last several years, you guys have seen me work on my setting journey. And I've become a better setter, I can say that. I've become a better setter. But with that, I had to learn more about the art of setting. And when I dove really deep into the art of setting and realized all the numerical values, the tempos, the heights, I, my mind was blown. So I thought by starting at the basics today, we can open up the basic can of worms with setting by looking at the different types of sets. So first and foremost, let's break it down a little bit. Now, there are different tempos of sets. There are the tempo, the, the slow tempo, the second tempo, and the fast tempo. So a lot of the players on my channel, you guys are beginners or intermediate and you're starting to develop in your skill. So you may be seeing more of a slow tempo set. That's when we're looking at those sets that look more like a rainbow. They're a little bit slower and give the player some time to go after the ball and time to transition. When we start looking at those second tempo sets, we're looking at players who are a little bit more advanced. Maybe they want a four, but they want it a little bit quicker. Maybe they want a mid or two, but they want a little bit quicker. Those are the sets that the players are a little bit more established in their approach and the setter has a better understanding of the, the, the tempo of the set and how to deliver it. When we're looking at fast tempo sets, we're looking at my personal favorite. We're looking at the one. We're looking at the shoot. We're looking at the back one. Things like that. Those are what we can call, some, some teams call them volleyball plays. Um, so, you know, it is to each their own. But I'm gonna be using an image and I'm gonna put the image on the screen so we can look at the numbers and I'm gonna look at the numbers on my phone so that way we can see, okay? So first we're gonna look at outside. So outside hitters love outsides. Chef's kiss to you guys too. Outside, we have the five, okay? So we know that volleyball has really recently transitioned into some different language. So outside can be interchangeable with pin hitter, okay? So as we see that pin or the antenna, we see that five. We see that it is high and it has a high arch and we see that it is more rainbow-esque than it, a four. Four is what we typically see for the outside and it is about three meters off, okay? So when you're knowing if you want things on or off the net is very important and is vital because Sure, there's a placement with the tempo and the tempo being the height of the ball and the speed versus the placement of the ball, right? So it's important to know exactly where you like in placement of on the net or off the net because you know everybody likes something different. So that five, very rainbow-esque, closer to the antenna. And then we have that four, beautiful. Outsides love the four. I think that is a great introductory uh, tempo or an introductory I, th I think that's a very great introductory placement for the ball because a lot of players when they're learning how to hit and they're learning their four step approach and back in the day three step approach they learned from that perspective we have that shoot the shoot fantastic Whew. if you ever get one it's great but that's a faster tempo ball that is the ball where the, the setter the the pass comes right to the setter they shoot it right out and outside meets it and it's really gnarly it looks really great okay now moving forward when we move along the net we see that three I've seen both outsides hit a three, but I've also seen middles hit a three. So it really does depend on the team that you're playing on to who's going to hit the three. The 32. I've seen the outside hit the 32 uh, more often than I've seen a middle hit a 32. But there's also a 31 there. I've seen an outside hit a 31. Um, not so much middle, but you know what? A middle might. They might. When we get to that two. That is what we often see for the middle. The two is rainbow-esque right in the middle. The middle's gonna transition back to that 10 foot line and then they're gonna go in for it. When we see that one, that is the one that is right above the net and the, the, the middle's coming right into the setter as the setter sets it. It's beautifully delivered. It looks fantastic when you get it. And middles, when they start to get a little bit more advanced in their play, they start to do the one. 
moving further along the net. So we see here it's called an A. When I was playing volleyball, it was called a C. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna call it a back one to make it more easy for you to understand. That is when the setter is giving the one behind them and they're gonna give that, I've seen the middle hit it. So the middle's gonna come right behind the setter and then they're gonna hit it. So we're gonna name it a back one for the purposes of this video. Then we have the slide. The slide is for the middle. Girl, middles, let me say something. As a former middle, we do a lot. We do a lot. Comment below if you're a middle and you're tired because I get it, I, total, I totally get it. The slide, that is when the middle, instead of coming in to attack, the middle's gonna stop, turn, come, and hit and pivot. Now you, it's important not to cheat the line, but that's what the middle's gonna do. They're gonna come around and that is the slide. And then we have the nine, which is kind of like the five for the opposites. So it's coming and it's really rainbow-esque and it's for the opposites. So it's really cool to see all of these different placements along the net and all these different setting tempos for the setter. All of these sets with the ones with the numerical value do have a different, a different tempo to them. So when we're looking at the one, that is a fast tempo. When we're looking at the four, we could look at something that's maybe a slow tempo, a five is slow tempo, a nine is slow tempo, a back one, a fast tempo, a shoot, a fast tempo. So it's important to understand the tempos. Um, as a setter, please do not get confused too much um, by this image. This is just to give you an idea in your mind when if you're starting to get to the point where your coach is like, okay, y'all need to start calling fours you know what a four is now, right? Or, okay, you guys need to start calling nine. You know what a nine is now, okay? In the back row, this back here in this back row image, it can be called something different for everybody. Now, 10, I've heard 10 across the board when people say 10, 10, 10, as in 10 foot line. I see there's red, white, and blue. Some teams do red, white, and blue. Some teams do their own little call for it. Just know that there are some zones in the back row that indicate where in the back row the person's calling it. Is it somebody who's playing middle back right now? Somebody calling left back right now? That's just for the setter to know, if I hear red, I, that means I'm going to go this way, right? So this can be season to change. Now remember, with volleyball, volleyball is a wonderful sport and volleyball does transcend and is common language a lot of places that you go. However, volleyball is evolving and it is changing. And because it's evolving and it is changing, we do see changes. Like earlier when I said outside hitters and now we call pin hitters. So just remember this image may not be inclusive of all of the different types of tempos and placements because some teams I've heard people calling a six as of recently. So it's not as inclusive as, as well, this is not as inclusive as everything that we've seen. So just keep that in mind. This is just a basis to give you an understanding of what we're looking at and what it sounds like and what people could be done. The most common numbers or the common placements and understanding of what tempo is. So with everything, I hope that this was helpful. If you've heard a different tempo or if you heard a different placement, please put that comment down below. And I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.